Cap Red. BlizzCon is on the line here in game number one. Reformed have already qualified. Skill Cap Red, they need a first place finish in this cup, and not only this one, they need another in the final cup to make it all the way. They have a long road to BlizzCon, but at least they've got one. That is true. Dizio and Adam Rex are going to be dueling it out in the middle of the map, both Relza and Zuniaki as well. Looks like Adam Rex, he wants to pull the trigger first with a full trap onto Relza, but unfortunately, Feral Druid is not going to be able to get there. And Cassidy gets found out of stealth. It looks like the Feral Druid is the target of choice more than likely. Dizio actually getting a little bit low. There's a bash over onto Relza. He trinkets out, uses the human racial. Dizio still under fire for the time being, but looks like Cassidy, he's just going to be running away, avoiding as much damage as possible. Zuniaki was caught into that trap. All right, we see Incarnate pulled first by Cassidy. Flappers is just kiting away and not taking nearly as much damage as you would expect. There's actually Cassidy on the back foot. Freezing trap secured. Flappers preemptively activates his wall. He sees the damage coming due to crowd control on his healer, activates that defensive and avoids a lot of it before it even happens. It was a nice read by Flappers. Adam Rex now leading the charge for his team with coordinated assault, boosting his damage quite a bit. I'm curious to see. Zuniaki tried to premonition that trap. He was one second off. That's going to put his team behind. A stun on Cassidy could end the match. They're not able to get it. Instead, stunning Zuniaki. Cassidy should start to stabilize here. Zuniaki gets out of crowd control. Relza preemptively paints the pressions, the freezing trap. These disciplined priests have to predict crowd control and use abilities one second before it hits, or they could easily just lose the match. Yeah, Zuniaki moving into position to land a fear, but Dizio shutting it down with the roots. Expertly done by Reform defending Relza. Zuniaki gets in interrupted as well. There's the maim. Can Relza get there for the full, fe full fear? It doesn't look like it, but Dizio manages to land the trap, also using the mending bandage over onto Flappers to keep him alive. Reform's been doing a good job so far. Skill cap red, all the pressure onto them. Zuniaki gets interrupted. Cassidy into a stun. Big pressure coming in from Dizio as Relza goes into the full trap. Now Flappers is going to be the one that has to play a little defensive. I don't know. Cassidy's still low. and He's just been off healing this whole time, whereas Flappers has just been tearing in. Flappers gets caught into a stun. He's trying Trying to stun Zuniaki. Flappers is now life gripped away. Zuniaki needs to be careful here. If he gets stun locked into a freezing trap, Cassidy could easily go down. There's the stun. Where's the trap? Dizio moves over. He should be able to snipe that quite easily. Cassidy's kiting and avoiding the reconnect. Adam Rex backs him up with a, bending, a mending bandage. That was a nice move by Adam Rex. Removes all the bleeds and allows Cassidy to be safe. That teamwork by them could win them the match here. That crowd control was likely going to be the end of the game if they didn't make that move. Now Flappers is on the back foot. Any crowd control on Relza could close this out. Yeah, Flappers looking to get aggressive, though. Anytime the, uh, the, your healer's in crowd control, you can see the Feral Druid's running away. Relza into the Fear. Flappers retreating, just playing a little bit defensive. Now Fear secured onto Cassidy and Adam Rex. Zuniaki actually avoiding that. He was just so far away that Relza had to use it defensively. Now with the full maim over on a Zuniaki into the full trap. Cassidy could be in trouble, but he preemptively uses survival instincts and turns the pressure over onto Flappers. <laughs> this is just such a back-and-forth game very early on, but Relz is almost completely tapped on mana. The man is the name of the game right now. He's caught into a freezing trap. Flappers trades cooldowns to reduce this incoming pressure. I think Flappers is also running the Veiled Eye Trinket, which is interesting. They want to survive those crowd control chains and be a little bit more beefy. It makes sense in this matchup as it's so fast-paced, but Relz is actually the one that's completely tapped on mana. Zuniaki doing a better job in that front, managing it. Relz is getting interrupted on Smite. Now he's using Shadow Men's. That's going to cost the rest of his mana. He's not going to have any for quite some time, but Zuniaki Yaki's still in a freezing trap. Cassidy's in a three on two. How's he going to make it out? Adam mending bandages. Now Flappers on the back foot getting chased down. Potential cross kill maybe in this position. Cassidy just wants to run down for the win. Freezing trap on Relsa. Skill cap red want that BlizzCon, but they're one second away. Now they get it in game number one. Cassidy's still in a bit of trouble. Zuniaki gripping him to safety. Shadow mending him back to full and Skill cap red did a great job managing their mana throughout all that onslaught and Rels is going to have to kind of clean that up moving to game number two. Yeah. Fla Flabber's just barely going to go down there. And another thing to note is that we are going to see one come out here. Obviously, we are going to see the Night Elves on the side of the Druids and kind of have to check which time of the day it is to know exactly which bus they're <laughs> going to be getting. It gets a little bit tricky. But we will see Reformed on the back foot, the first team to make it all the way to BlizzCon. And now they just want to prove how strong they can be. Will Skill Cap Red be able to keep their BlizzCon dreams alive and get on match point? Huh?
Dizio and Adam Rex are going to be knocking each other out of stealth or out of camouflage. Dizio now caught into the full stun. You can see Adam Rex playing a full trap over onto Relza. Cassidy gets found by Flappers. This isn't the worst start for Reform, but Relza's caught into the full fear. If Skill Cap Red can capitalize on this, they can get some very early momentum. Flappers realizing the situation. He's just kite, trying to kite away, but Cassidy's all over him right now as he rots down lower and lower. Fear now over onto Zuniaki. Very back and forth. Relza gets interrupted into the full bash. Flappers all alone. Relza trying to keep him alive. Manages to stabilize him for now, but this this is not the best start for Reform. No, they're behind on Trinket now, but they've used Incarnation first, and you said that's a bit of an enrage timer, so the sooner the Ferals use it in this matchup, the faster it becomes available the second time when the Priests are tapped on mana. So I think it's a smart move for Flappers using that cooldown early on. Cassie respecting it, trading one for one, now popping his Incarnation. Curious to see who falls behind in this position. Zuniaki feared up. Adam Rex trying to stand on top of him to eat any potential traps. Life grip from onto Cassidy, trying to get some distance away from Flappers here and recover through this initial burst. Cassidy's definitely not got the best exchange of this initial Incarn trade. His is going to be coming up a lot later. He didn't really get any cooldowns done with it. Reformed are in the lead. Yeah, Reform's doing quite well. You can see Flappers. He has both ticks of Survival Instincts. That's a major defensive for him. 50% damage reduction, but he's caught into the full stun. Can they just burst him down? Intimidation stun? Oh, that that setup from Skill Cap Red was so clean. And now they're up 2-0 to zero against Reformed, and they might be able to dethrone them as the best jungle. Ooh. Cassidy, you're looking like Sheer Khan here with the fact about this map. You didn't steal my line. Thank you very much. Well, Ruth Lordaan would be a fitting final resting place. Why do they always pick this map? I don't know. It's like every series today has been a fitting final resting place right now. They just want to hear they me did. say it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Reformed, they're down 0-2 right now. Definitely need to pick up this win if they want to stay in the tournament. But this is such a volatile matchup that it could definitely happen. You just need one good crowd control uh, chain with a stun on the Feral Druid. You can take him down very quickly. It reminds me of RMP Mirror. So... You're definitely looking for Reform to strike back. Well, I mean, that game was in Reform's favor, except for one window of opportunity that Skill Capped Red snuck away with. Both hunters find each other in stealth. They're just going to be whacking each other. We see a stun on Dizio early on. Adam Rex jumps over. He's trying to bait the premonition. And Relza actually doesn't even commit it. He didn't want to get baited on it. So Dizio is now landing these traps without Relza even activating it. Nice follow-up by Zuniaki. But Adam Rex can't really stay on target. Dizio with some nice evasive maneuvers here. Dipping still lower. Trades out the exhilaration. It seems like Skillcat Red have changed their targeting. As Dizio is not a dwarf and he's playing human, this could be a mistake in terms of race choices from Reformed. Yeah, Cassidy moving in, gets the pounce stun on the Flappers, bash over onto Relza. Looks like they really want to get aggressive uh, early on onto Adam Rex, but Flappers the one that's going to have to play a little bit defensive. Dizio charging in over onto Cassidy right now. Flappers looking to reconnect, uses his survival instincts. Relza caught into the trap, though, so Flappers just predicting this incoming damage, just trying to avoid it. In the meantime, though, skill cap red, they still have pressure on Dizio. All right, Adam Rex has constantly been using these mending bandages. I really want to see Dizio do the same and, and remove these bleed effects. Otherwise, Rels is going to have to spend a lot more mana than Zuniaki. Flappers and Cassie both have Incarn rolling. They're looking to build up a ton of momentum. Crowd control onto both healers. No freezing traps just yet. We're really looking to see when those are secured. Zuniaki trapped up first. Relza just penancing aggressively as Cassidy's pinned down in the room, trying to desperately just hide in the corner and survive while his healers crowd control. He's managed to weather it. Now Relza in a freezing trap. Flappers in a stun. They're gunning down to try and force his trinket. They do actually pull the trinket from Flappers. I'm not sure if that was entirely needed. Now it's an opening. Yeah, Flappers could be in trouble. We've see, we saw what happened in game number two where Skillcap Red took him down in one trap. In the meantime, Cassidy getting bursted down in the main stun. Zuniaki grips him to save his life using the Rapture as well. Going to be able to spam out the Power Word Shields to keep him alive. It's a very powerful uh, Discipline Priest defensive. Both Priests really only have their Pain Suppression to work with. Now Zuniaki goes into the full trap. Cassidy, realizing the situation, immediately pops his Survival Instincts and looks to get aggressive on Flappers. Rolls actually has a mana lead right now, but Zuniaki caught in crowd control. Need to see if Dizio can snipe the trap. Doesn't look like he was able to land it, but Cassidy is still taking a lot of pressure. Will Zuniaki be able to top him off? Skullbash puts Zuniaki a little bit behind. He's having to use Shadow Men. That's going to cost him a lot more mana, and we've seen this game go until the Priests are out of mana. Likely in another minute and 30 seconds, no matter what the game ends at that point, but before that, it's still scary. Double Psychic Screen, but Flappers is stunned up. 
Relza with amazing peels there. That double kept Flappers nice and safe. Now Cassidy on the back foot is reformed. Look to strike back in the series. Do they have enough? It looks like they don't. Zuniaki denies the kill of 10% with that pain suppression. He's desperately trying to pick him back up, but it's costing a lot of his mana to do so, but he kept him alive. Yep, Flapp or Cassidy's going to be able to survive. Now Flapper's in a lot of trouble. He has to run away. He's in bear form. Relza found to the main. Survival Instincts comes up. Relza gets mind controlled by Zuniaki. Zuniaki playing very risky there. Not going to be able to heal up Cassidy and now might go into the crowd control chain. Cassidy's out of line of sight. Relza lands oh. a double fear. Cassidy all alone trying to stun up Flappers and keep himself alive. Adam Rex eats the trap onto Zuniaki. That was very nicely done. And now Zuniaki's going to be free to keep Cassidy alive and keep him aggressive on the Flappers. Nice MVP plays from Adam Rex. He secured a freezing trap. Flappers now on the back foot. Relza preemptively barriered before the crowd control. That really absorbed a lot of damage on Flappers, but that barrier is now ended. Relza gets out of the second screen, goes for a penance, gets skull bashed. Now going for Shatterman's, gets interrupted by Adam Rex. Nice interrupt chain by Skill Cap Red. It's on match point. They definitely want BlizzCon. Flappers is in desperation mode, jumping towards Relza to survive. Man is completely tied at this point. Incarns are up at the exact same second and 15 seconds from now. This game is just going to explode. Yeah, Cassidy could be in some trouble now as well. Zuniaki, if he gets caught into the trap, both priests don't have a trinket available. Cassidy getting lower and lower. He gets gripped to safety by Zuniaki, but now into the main. Cassidy not going to survive this one and reform strike back. We need to just call out how incredibly both of these teams are playing. Yes, it is two to one, but we see MVP plays coming out of Adam Rex in that situation, and we see it on the side of Reformed as well, and it is clear. On the other hand, are looking to show that they're back in shape. They haven't had a good performance for months now. This is their opportunity to show that they're back before BlizzCon. Zuniaki charging across the map quite recklessly to try and find both Flappers or Dizio from Stealth. He's not going to find either, unfortunately. If the Discipline Priest can find a target in stealth, it would be a nice advantage. Yeah, Zuniaki retreating now, looking like he's not going to be able to find anyone. Dizio and Flappers are going to be close to each other. Uh, Adam Rex and Cassidy, they're positioned very far away. You can see the Holy Nova spam coming in. If you can get the enemy team out of their camouflage or their invisibility, it's going to be nice. Your team's going to be able to get the crowd control early on and also have a target you can open up on. Ooh, they found Flappers. Cassidy's still in stealth. Now he can initiate a sneak attack. He's trying to jump as quickly as possible to Flappers. Wants to open up with a rake stun. We see Relza interrupted. Adam Rex has been trying to get a freezing trap. Zunia he goes in for Psychic Stream instead. It's a three on two. Relza's trapped up. Flappers has to trade his trinket. Flappers is heavily behind on match point, taking a ton of damage early on. Relza uses a human race, but even that might not be enough. Flappers is getting torn apart. Yeah, this is everything from Reformed to keep Flappers alive. They need some counter pressure. Cassidy now in bear form, doing an excellent job reading the situation, making sure to just deny any sort of pressure that Reform wants to grab with this incarnation. Now Flapper's in trouble once again. Mending Bandage is going to be used by Dizio to try to remove some of those bleeds like we've been talking about by Flapper's just a little bit more time. Yeah, Flapper's is restabilized, but he doesn't have Trinket. In the meantime, Zuniaki caught into a stun. Rails in a freezing trap. Both healers locked down. Dizio jumps over. Will Zuniaki be able to premonition the trap? He premonitions and then fears of having mistimed it, but Dizio is patient there. That was good patience. That's going to get them survival instincts from Cassidy. Flapper's Flappers has to get pain suppression. Right now, skill capped red are in the driver's seat for match point. With having trinkets available, Reform need a miracle bite. Yeah, Cassidy's getting low, though. There's a the full bash on the Flappers. But Cassidy, he's not feeling confident to push in, throwing out the regrowth on himself, top himself off, allowing Zuniaki to get out some Shadow Men's as well. Uh, it looks like pain suppression is really the only thing that Skill Cap Red has going for them over Reformed in this matchup. So Zuniaki's going to have to do an excellent job with that. Now Cassidy pushing in, wants to get the damage on Flappers. He's just going to try to avoid with Bear Form, leaping away over to Relza once again. Zuniaki got caught in the trap in the meantime. There's a double fear coming in from Zuniaki. Flappers in so much trouble in the main stun. Can they take him down right here, right now? Mind control from Zuniaki as well. Flappers getting lower, but Relza finally out of the crowd control. Needs to top him off. Big heals from Relza in the nick of time to save Flappers. Now Relza has a massive mana lead over skill capped red, and Flappers has defensive cooldowns coming up very shortly. This is actually looking better and better for Reform. We may be going to a game five. Crowd control on the whole team. Cassidy ducking for cover already to try and preemptively avoid it. He's doing a fantastic job avoiding all that crowd control and stunning up Flappers. Nice defensive awareness from Cassidy. Now they've got Relza trapped up. Zuniaki's in position for a psychic screen. Flappers in a three on two on the run. Cassidy trying to reconnect, dashing over, maybe for a bash. 
Dizio's trying to slow him down. Mind control instead. Flappers is still alone. Trades out the survival instincts. They stun Cassidy to delay the stun on Relsa for one more second. Will that delay be enough or will Flappers fall in potentially the final game? He jumps over to Zuniaki to try and get to safety, but that's not very safe. He's hanging on by a thread on match point. Relsa's mashing Shadow Bend to keep Flappers alive, but even still, just falling more and more behind. Is he actually going to stay alive? Traps onto both priests. It's a race to the finish. Flappers gets locked down. He trinkets. Ducks for cover out of line of sight. Relsa leaves the crowd control. But Cassidy jumps in to follow up. Flappers runs for cover, but he's not going to make it, I don't think. Hanging on it. No, will fall. And despite having the mana lead, skill cap red lead with momentum and power, advancing in the lower bracket 3-1. to one. And they're going to be able to keep their BlizzCon dreams alive. They say welcome to the jungle, and they bring reform down to their na 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 na, -na knees knees and this is huge right now and making a movie against skill cap red the two teams that still have hopes to be able to make it to the finals of the year to blizzcon are going to go head to head if making a movie can take down skill cap red they ensure their spot to blizzcon and we're going to be seeing that tomorrow i think making a movie actually is it's feed versus the fake zebras we're all tied up one and one who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth. 